This is the first video in the Scottbot V1 tutorial series. In this video, I will be outlining how to install on Windows, how to install on Mac, how to install Node.js, and how to disable security settings when running on a server through the Server Manager dashboard. To obtain the latest download for the bot, simply open your preferred browser and navigate to scottbotv1.com slash email format. This is the same link that is provided in the email containing your key, which you should receive after purchasing the software. Simply select either the Windows or Mac installer, depending on which operating system you are currently running, and follow the steps in the installation wizard. You will also be redirected to a README page, which outlines the detailed information regarding the operation of the software and fixes to possible errors that you may encounter. It is recommended to read the README page before operating the software. On this same page, you will find a link to join the Discord server. The Discord provides the latest and most up-to-date information regarding the software. If you require additional support, Please open the ticket in the Discord, rather than asking questions in the general chat. The installation of Node.js is only required if you are on Windows. To install Node.js, navigate to nodejs.org slash en slash download. Select only the 64-bit installation in the MSI row. Do not select the 32-bit installation. Run the installer and follow the installation wizard. When you first open the bot, you will be prompted to input your key to continue. Your key can be found in the email you received after purchasing. Simply input your key and press the Vroom button to open the home page of the software. If you are on a Windows server, you will have to disable some crucial security settings within the Server Manager dashboard. Simply press the Windows icon at the bottom left of the desktop and click on the Server Manager icon. Then. Click on the text that reads, 1. Configure this local server. In the right column of the Properties window, click the blue text next to the IE Enhanced Security Configuration. This will open a new window. In this window, make sure both administrators and users are set to off, and press the OK button. The text next to the IE Enhanced Security Configuration should now read, off. 